Hi, Cancer. Welcome back. This is your money read for October 2023. The deck I'm using is Halloween Tarot. Um, it is imps are fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Earth is pumpkins. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And then let's see. We have, um, let me see. Hmm. We have water. Ghosts is our water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then we have swords, which is um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, we got our first card up. We have the Queen of Ghosts. So we have the Queen of um, Water. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in reverse. Cancer money. What is around Cancer's money? Give me messages about Cancer money. October 2023. Cancer's money. We have um, Page of Wands. Page of Imps. Two cards. We have the Nine of Imps. And then we have the Knight of Ghosts. So we have someone back here um, on this side that's not giving up on you, okay? That's what I'm hearing already. They're not giving up on you. These two that came out, they're not giving up on you. Knight of Ghosts and the Nine of Imps. They've been through a lot, but they're not giving up, okay? They're not giving up. And they want to come in and they want to communicate something emotionally to you. Yeah, I'm also getting handwriting. Maybe this person's going to write you a message or something. Whatever it is, they're putting it on paper, trying to figure out the words or what they're going to say to you or something. So in October, Cancer, you're going to have hear good news about your money, your finances. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For, for the imps, we have um, and water. We got fire and water there. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pumpkins. So Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I just heard you're sweet. So um, first card out was the Queen of Cups. Oh, it could be manipulative around money here, okay? Because, um, no, I'm getting that. Yeah, emotionally manipulative around someone's money. This is a money read anyway, guys. Yeah. Someone could be manipulative, saying stuff to get money, something about money. They're being manipulative about money. They can be. They don't have to be. They could be water, though, okay? They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They also could be Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But I feel like someone is definitely... Hmm. They're manipulative about money. And maybe they know you're going to receive some good news or you are good news, Okay. But you got some kind of good news coming in financially. And someone could be coming back that's manipulative. I do feel that you know who this person is from your past. They are coming back in water energy. So they're going to manipulate you through water. Okay, so just pulling on your heartstrings, making you feel sorry for them. Um, yeah, I also hear like... They might beg you a little bit. They might plead with you. They may say, oh, I'm sorry, I won't do that again. Just give me another chance. That's what I'm saying. This person maybe won't give up as well. They might try to come in and, and to get some kind of money out of you or something like that. That's what I'm picking up. Just watch out for a water sign. Like I said, they may not be water, but they're coming in the form of water. All right. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Then we have the King of Ghosts, Nine of Imps. You also got someone else around you that won't give up. All right. This That wants to come back in and wants to apologize. That wants to date you. Okay. Um, this is a romantic night. 
So he's all about, you know, maybe he writes poetry or poems. He's got, he, he this one is writing something. Hmm. Maybe he's into music or songwriting or he's, um, he could write you a poem or something. He's very romantic. So this is to be expected from someone like him. He likes to go on dates and go, you know, go to the movies. He do not mind hugging and kissing, holding hands. He's, he is not soft, okay? By the way, he's a man, all right? But he's, um, he don't mind being cozy and cuddly with you, all right? Cancer, money, um, October 2023. We have Taurus. We have Mars. So that's the first house, ruler over Aries. So you could be looking at your appearance right now, um, you know, or changing something in your appearance, changing, uh, you know, you're gonna be looking different some type of way, whether it's your hair, your makeup, or uh, either through that way or surgery, you could be doing surgery. Okay, we have number four, but you're changing something about your appearance. Okay, so this good news is money, some kind of money opportunity. This is also a card of luck and fortune as well. So you guys could try Lotto um, in October. You guys could try something, a game of chance in October. Um, this is also talking about new job, promotion, success, abundance prosperity um, if you guys were looking for a new job you guys um, could get a call back anything okay pertaining to money or something new some kind of new opportunity yeah you guys got major arcanas around this ace of pentacles the star and the devil Okay, someone could be drawn to you very sexually. Um, they could see you as a star. They could see you as healed. Uh, this one of these people around here, around you, they're not healed. Okay, emotionally, they got emotional damage or emotional wounds, and they operate out of the Queen of Cups in reverse. So this, there's no sex in tarot. So this could be a male or female. Okay, so take it as a apply. This may or, be, may or may not be your story, but someone around you in um, Cancer, October, they're being deceptive, okay? They're being manipulative, deceptive towards, you know, either with your money or something. Maybe they're saying they're going to pay you back and maybe before they didn't or something like that. What is the message for Cancer Money, October 2023? Did we flip? Oh, it did. Okay, it says growth. Okay, so someone's having some fin kind of financial growth in the month of October. At the bottom of the deck, we have resign, retire, okay? So some of you guys might be looking for a new job. Looks like it's for a lot of you guys, you guys are going to be getting a new job or a call back on something else. Looks like you want to work somewhere else or you want to do something else, okay? But right now your money's growing. But the main energy around your money growth is resigning, okay? Or maybe you're going to get enough money where you don't have to work anymore or something like that, guys. All right? But for others of you guys, you don't want to work there no more or something like that. Or you're ready to leave this job. You you know, you're you're ready to retire. You're ready to quit, okay? Um, so I'm not saying that's going to happen in October. But the energy is there. Oh, yeah, maybe the growth is. Because I picked up as money growth. But the growth, it could be that this job has already offered what it has. It's like there's no more room for promotion or growth or something. And you want more um, expansion and stuff. Okay, Cancer, that's all I have for you guys. Now this is on Gemini, okay? I'm also letting you guys know that one. All right, guys, and you guys got the star. Yeah, you guys, um, on your other job, you guys are gonna be, um, in a star energy, okay? So it could be, um, public recognition, notice. You guys could be doing work on a social media site or something like that. 
um, out in public. Something very um, public is your next job, Cancer. Till next time, take care.